Welcome to our channel, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Today, we'll talk about the second largest land animal, the rhinoceros. We'll also get to see this fighter in action, so to say. Let's get started. The rhinoceros is an amazing animal that lives in Asia and Africa. I think everyone has heard about the bad temper and aggressive nature of this animal. Looking at the rhinoceros, I feel like it's this animal who became the muse for designers who invented combat vehicles. There are five known living species of rhinoceros. The largest of them is the white rhinoceros. It's a huge mammal. The weight of an adult male can reach 5 tons, and its body length can be up to 4.5 meters, while its height at the withers is up to 2 meters. The black rhinoceros is somewhat inferior to its relative, but only slightly. The impact force of this heavyweight animal is comparable to the fall of a huge metal press. Here is a vivid example of the enormous strength of this animal. The rhinoceros was quietly having lunch, and it seemed that it didn't pay any attention to the approaching boar. But then another one joined in, and that's when all the peacefulness and good nature of the rhinoceros evaporated. Just one powerful blow, and the animal weighing 150 kilograms soared up like a soccer ball. I don't know if the animal was able to recover from such a fall, and most importantly, do you notice how easily and naturally the rhinoceros made this throw, as if brushing aside an annoying insect? In this incident, the buffalo tried to try its luck against the gladiator in armor. The buffalo is also a rather strong fellow. It's the largest of the present-day bulls, weighing up to 1,000 kilograms and almost 2 meters high at the withers. It seemed like a fight of equal opponents. However, a couple of seconds into the first round, and we see that the rhino was just warming up. Then it threw a couple of sharp blows from the bottom up with its main weapon, its horn, and swept up the buffalo like a plush toy. The armor of the rhinoceros is also worth noting. Its skin is considered the thickest among all representatives of the animal world. It's 2.5 centimeters thick, and even 8 centimeters in some places. Its density is also worth a mention, as it ensures the safety of the skin under various rather strong influences. Here is a rather funny incident that clearly demonstrates the resistance of the rhinoceros armor to damage. A group of lions spotted a rhinoceros who was bathing nonchalantly in the mud. Naturally, they decided to feast on such large prey, which wasn't even trying to escape. However, it wasn't running away, not because it couldn't, but simply because the rhinoceros didn't feel the least bit threatened. It felt safe. When the rhinoceros slowly came out of its swamp, the lions tried to attack it, but they quickly realized that they made a mistake. They were probably young and inexperienced. There wasn't a single scratch on the armored skin of the rhinoceros, and it only took seconds for it to scare off the lions. And here's another proof of how reliable the rhino's armor is. A rhinoceros accidentally scared a giraffe. That's important. It really was accidental. There was no conflict between the animals. We've all heard how strong giraffe's hooves are. They can easily crush the skull of wild cats, such as lions and tigers. But for the rhinoceros, this blow turned out to be like a slap in the face. But the sound was actually impressive. This armor seems very weighty, and if you add the weight of the animal itself and look at the thick short legs of the rhinoceros, you get the impression that it must be very slow, clumsy, and awkward. However, this impression is wrong. Rhinos are capable of reaching speeds up to 45 kilometers per hour. Escaping from such a fast rock isn't easy. The rhinoceros has very poor eyesight, but I don't think this fact makes the rhinoceros very vulnerable. It gets its sense of direction from its well-developed hearing and sense of smell. And whoever meets it on their way should definitely worry. Cases of rhinos destroying the cars of tourists are very common. Metal easily bends under their blows, and glass shatters in seconds. Adult rhinos turn cars over and then roll them like a ball. One needs to be very careful, 
as every year one person dies from a rhinoceros encounter. Let's circle back to the rhino's main weapon, its horn. Depending on the species, the number of horns can vary from one and two, but sometimes there are individuals with the larger number of horns. The front horn grows from the nasal bone, and the back horn grows from the frontal part of the animal's skull. These strong outgrowths aren't made of bone tissue, but of keratin. The largest known horn was 158 centimeters long. Because the horn is rather sharp and bent in the form of a hook, the rhino's attacks are really scary and dangerous. This animal intentionally aims at the belly or the neck of the enemy and strikes from the bottom up while pulling its head towards itself. The most impressive rhino fights are, of course, when they fight other heavyweights. For example, the hippopotamus. It's another representative of the wild nature, distinguished by its aggressiveness. Hippos are considered the most dangerous animals in Africa. More people die from their attacks than from the attacks of any other animals. The hippopotamus has very powerful jaws. The bite force of this animal reaches 125 atmospheres. It can bite a huge crocodile in half. These are territorial animals that defend their land fiercely. When these two species fight, the earth really trembles. While the rhinoceros is trying to deliver a crushing blow to the neck of the enemy, the hippopotamus is ready to bite through the opponent's skull. The outcome of this fight is unpredictable. Another interesting fact about rhinos, they don't let go of a defeated victim easily. There's a feeling that the rhinoceros wants to finish off the enemy. It tries to trample the opponent, striking it with its horn again and again. Rhinos usually live alone, but sometimes they form small groups. The group most often consists of females and their calves and juveniles, who feed on their own, but aren't yet ready to live without their mothers. Old males can also join these groups, but females with cubs only tolerate them if males don't attempt to mate. Otherwise, they are immediately expelled by the females, and sometimes they even kill the male. Males are even more aggressive towards each other. Fierce fights between them don't look harmless at all. They often end with the death of one of the opponents. In case of danger, a group of rhinos takes the defensive position. The animals stand in a tight circle with their heads looking out, protecting their helpless cubs. Let's look at the fight between a rhinoceros and an elephant. The advantage of the elephant is, of course, its weight and its size. Elephants can reach a height of four meters. They're up to eight meters long, and their weight is up to seven tons. Also, don't forget about the elephant tusks, which are yet another reason to avoid fighting this animal at all costs. The rhinoceros, however, still has an important advantage. Its main weapon, the horn, is located at an angle that is dangerous for the enemy and can easily pierce the elephant's stomach. Still, most of these fights are won by elephants. An enraged elephant simply tramples the rhinoceros, but sometimes it first stuns its victim by hitting it with a log. That's all for today. Please like the video if you enjoyed watching it and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more interesting things coming. See ya!